This video is for Dirty Pair the Movie or Dirty Pair Project Even. After watching the TV series and watching the OVA series, next I watch the, the movie. In this, so this movie is high production compared to the TV series and OVA. It has a lot of really good animation, a lot of, a lot of really good sequences and music. It, it starts off... It, and, and again, you don't need to watch the series or the OVA series to understand this. You, you don't really need to watch anything to really anything before when it comes to Dirty Pair, at, at least the original series. It starts off with showing you why they're called Dirty Pair. They're they're on a mission, and though they kind of kind of kind of succeed, they blow up they blow up the entire place and realize they're in trouble. And again, they just completely wrote off the chief. It started happening around the be the, the middle of the OVA series. We kind of just don't see him anymore. He even stops calling them lovely angels. It starts, use, starts using dirty pair. He just went, went out of character. Same thing with the robot. The robot just kind of got written out too. You know, Mogi's buddy. I, I don't know. I don't know what what happened there. But the the I have, I have a few problems with this movie, and the problem is the way they handle Yuri and K. They don't really, especially K. They don't really see in themselves compared to the TV series and the OVA. K is much too soft. Much, much too soft. The a lot of the quick witty, a lot of the quick and witty humor between Yuri and K is not really there. You don't, it doesn't really shine like it always does. The comedy wasn't really that good. It it's more of a visually pleasing type film, and it has some <laughs> it has some some fan service in it, you know. And I wasn't. It, it's it's a good movie, but. As a representation of of the of the lovely angels, I didn't really like that of it. The story takes place basically about us. It's a, it's about a scientist, Doctor Watson, Doctor Watson, who is trying to manipulate evolution to create a higher end type of human. And there's a guy called Carson D. Carson who was after them because he wants his wine bottle back. <laughs> so he 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 was stealing this this. Almost, I think it was a 195 year old champagne or wine from the World War II era. <clears throat> Supposedly, over has it gives him fame and fortune, and it's worth 60 million credits. And he steals this, but the Dr. Watson's butler stops him and takes the, the bottle. And I guess out of pride or just revenge, out of just the embarrassment it, 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 uh, it brings upon him, Carson decided to go after him. Not even, not even caring about the money or the fame and the fortune, just the fact that the thief got thiefed. <laughs> so he he's always but and then uh, he ends up uh, K ends up falling in love with him. I guess based just upon looks. They don't, it, there's no real build up, no real type of context or reason. They're just in love, I guess. Whatever, the, whatever the, you know. Yuri is is a, a lot more upbeat in the movie, like when she's dancing in the on the beginning of the of the movie. And the music is awesome. A lot of great classic funky. It's still like eighty. It's, I mean, it was built. The movie was made towards the end of the eighties, beginning of the of the nineties. And it has beautiful, beautiful music. Just good song after good song after good song. High quality, high production tracks. And again, just the visuals are beautiful. A lot, a lot of attention to detail. I mean, you'll be impressed with the quality of the production com compared to the series and the OVA series. Just amazing. And so Yuri and Kay end up assisting Carson D. Carson in stopping this this man because he's spawning these monsters everywhere, just killing people and and all. And the guy went, <laughs> Carson wants his wine bottle back. And there's a lot of cool things. Like, for example, when it comes to the detail, again, there's a, there's a really cool scene where Dr. Watson is moving his hands around and just the shading and the animation. I, I'm just, I was just impressed. But besides that, the story is pretty simple. Just the dirty, the dirty, lovely angels pair up with this guy to get for help him get revenge against a scientist. The lovely, lovely angels try, are trying to stop him. And they succeed. There's a part that where... Carson D. Carson almost died. I mean, it looked like he was going to die. He gets stabbed by a saber, but he survives in the end. He survives the explosion. And I guess him and, and Kay kind of have a little moment, but she's going to arrest him now, or she doesn't. I'm not really sure what happens about that. And it's kind of weird how at the end, everything is in slow motion. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they run out of animation. 
or time. But the last like 10 minutes is all like slow motion with like songs in the background. And again, in typical dirty pair fashion, they actually end up blowing, dooming the entire planet at the end. Uh, after they successfully stopped the scientist, captured him in the butler, got in the wine bottle back, and D. Carson, Carson D. Carson survives, they, t- uh, they, ha- they uh, Carson had drunk the wine bottle. It's not clear who is the one that throws it off the, sh- off the ship, but it, it falls on the floor hits the saber and kind of knocks it to where it hits a button that activates the mad scientist program. And you just see the entire world glow up with explosions and chaos and monsters are spawning everywhere, killing everybody. And again, the, the, the dirty pair is what they're known for. They always screw everything up at the end. And they've caused the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people. They've blown up planets before. So it's typical. You know, it's inevitable that that would have happened. And... It... And again, th- there's no conclusion here. This series just has no conclusion. It's just, it's just hop on for the ride with 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 Kay and Yuri. But again, if you're the kind of person that wants a great epic ending, Dirty Pair is not going to give it to you. It- it's just everything's so episodic that even the end's just episodic. So what the, so the movie it's it's fascinating. I don't like. What they do with the plot. I don't like how they handle Kay and, Kay and Yuri. It has, yeah, it has great animation. Yeah, it has great music. But overall, it was disappointing that it lost the charm that the TV series and the OVA series had. But it's still a decent film. And I think this ends the animation part of Dirty Parrot. There's still two more OVAs I gotta check out. But I think they're standalones that happened before this. But who knows what happens to Yuri and Kay. And the anime, that's where the story ends. I do want to reveal something because I was looking up Dirty Pair Flash. I was going to... I don't know if I'm going to watch Dirty Pair Flash, but it's interesting because as I was looking through the article, it turns out Dirty Pair was supposed to have a sequel. But what happened was the voice actor for K had already retired and moved and moved to the USA. And the voice of Yuri refused to work with anybody else but the, her original voice actor partner. So Dirty Pair was supposed to get a sequel... After that, but it didn't. Instead, it got rebooted into Dirty Pair Flash. That's a shame, man. I would have liked to see more, more Dirty Pair. I would, I would have liked to see an ending just to see what's happening to Yuri and Kay. But until then, I guess you'll have the, the visual novels. So that's Dirty Pair. As a franchise, great. It's, it's amazing. I just think that it, the lack of an ending, kind of hurt it, because there's no real closure. So, but still awesome. I'll recommend Dirty Pairs to everybody. And I'll see you when I finish the last two OVAs.